Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and I've got crazy hair as always. If, you're, if you've been on my channel before you'll know that because I often have crazy hair. Um, I've actually been out this morning and done my weekly Aldi shop and I've done a little haul for you so I'll show you what I've bought now. I forgot to also say I think my shopping was about £138 something like that and I'll put the actual amount on screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, some of this stuff I've bought before, there's some stuff that's new, some of it isn't scanning in the SIM world app currently, so I'll have a look when I edit the video, and if I can find the SIMs, I'll put them on screen, um, but if I can't, obviously, you'll have to use your own discretion. Um, I'm not a SIM world consultant, so please check the SIMs anyway. Um, these can change quite frequently, so just make sure that you do check and don't take my word for it. Starting off with meat, I bought the two big packs of chicken breast, the two kilogram ones. They worked out cheaper again this week and they've got the really large packs back in. So I bought two of those to use during the week and hopefully freeze for another week. I've got some pork loin chops there for today's dinner. Didn't fancy a roast chicken this week, so I've gone for some chops. I've got some lean diced beef. This is to go into a stew. Really enjoyed the stew I had last week, so I'm going to do something similar. I've bought some back bacon and some lean bacon medallions. The bacon seemed, some of the big packs of bacon seemed quite fatty. This has got quite a lot of fat on it, but it's all on the edge that you can cut off, but some of it had fat all the way through. So I've really struggled to set the right sort of bacon. So I'm hoping by buying the medallions, I can have that and the rest of the family can have those if need be. I bought two packs of skinny sausages. They're half a sim each. They're the ones that we all love. So I was pleased they had those in today. Um, five percent beef, quarter pounder beef burgers. Last time I checked, I think these were half a sin each. They're either half a sin or free, but I'll double check and I'll put it on screen for you. Quarter beef, quarter beef, four beef quarter pounders. This will be for everybody else as well. Obviously, I'll have one of the skinny ones, but everyone else will have these. So we're going to have burgers for one dinner this week. And I've got some cooked meat. So I've got some roast pepper pork loin and two packs of the honey roast ham. That's just for sandwiches and things. I bought a pack of two soft eggs, just to have in the fridge. I think you would fancy those. Um, moving on to sort of other fridge stuff, I've bought some lighter gnaw pack, some light mature cheese that's grated, and normal cheese. I bought two packs of the lighter keep cheese slices, which I buy them quite regular. We really like those, but also because we're having burgers, they'll be lovely. I've got some 0% Greek yogurt. I haven't bought any of the protein pots today. Um, I've decided that I don't, I'm not so keen on the Aldi ones at the moment. I've gone off them and I want to get some Lindvarg, Kvarg, but obviously we don't have those in Aldi, so I'll have to go somewhere else for those. I've got some Posada for the cupboard. I've got some thyme because I've run out and some ground. Oh no, I bought cinnamon. That was where the cumin was. I didn't want cinnamon. Oh well, I've got some ground cinnamon. <laughs> I actually wanted paprika. They had no paprika. They obviously didn't have any cumin. I just saw the C and just assumed it was because it was in the cumin spot but never mind. Um, I've got some pesto, a fancy chicken pesto pasta, so I might have to try and find a low sim way of making that. I picked up these three seasonings now, I've not seen these before, and they do say I'm new on them. They're not currently scanning into the app, but they look quite interesting, so I've picked them up anyway. Um, there is a butter curry seasoning, and that says, I think it's something like 30, 30 calories for a quarter of the pack can't see exactly without my glasses but I'm sure this will focus so you can see better. I've got one big potato seasoning and again it's about 29 calories I think per quarter pack and lastly I've got some coconut korma seasoning and it's very similar in calories. I think it's 31. So um, they look really good so I've got those for going into the cupboard just for quick meal ideas if we're struggling. I've got some taco beans because I like that for adding to chilies and omelettes and things like that. I've got two tins of chunky chopped tomatoes and two tins of baked beans. I didn't need four this week. I've still got a couple left from last week, so I've just picked up two. I've got a large skimmed milk because that's what we all drink. I've got a pack of pasta. Still got one pack of pasta in the cupboard, so I've just picked up one. I've got some golden syrup that's been on my shopping list for weeks and I finally remembered to pick it up. I've got some sea salt flakes for when I'm cooking and I've got some beef stock cubes and some chicken stock cubes because I need to stock up. I have got some normal sea salt just for putting on dinner. I've got some sweet pickle. I prefer the actual Branston pickle but obviously they didn't have any in Aldi today so I just picked up this version so I'm not sure what that's like. I've got some 30% lighter salad cream. 
again we've run out i've also got some brown sauce because we've run out and i've not tried this brand of brown sauce before but generally their sauce brands are okay so i thought i'd give that a go i prefer hp or daddy's but i'm going to give that a go i've got some of the bottled no sugar added water not water sparkling drink i've got a blood orange and i think that's normal orange at the back and before i move to the next bit i'm just going to do this front bit before i forget what i've done um two packs of the crispy potato slices which are maybe for the kids two packs of cotton candy grapes i don't seem to get a look in with those you seem to take them and they seem to just vanish but i've got two packs anyway i've got some raspberries and some strawberries I've got some cherry tomatoes. If you watch my What Eat in a Day, you'll know that I've, I'm off salad at the moment. So I've bought cherry tomatoes and I've got cucumber. Didn't bother buying lettuce. Um, this is just to sort of add on to the plate or add on to sandwiches. I've got a savoy cabbage. Um, that's for a dinner this week, hopefully. Broccoli. I bought a normal one and a 10 cent broccoli. Some of that will be for today. I've got some shredded kale because I'm really enjoying that at the moment. Some British leeks. So that'll go into either a stew or it'll be um, sort of creamed leeks or something with dinner. I've got a butternut squash and a swede, again for adding to soups and stews. I've got some large onions and some red onions because I've run out. I've got some bananas, just because they're bananas. <laughs> Pink lady apples because they're my favourites. We're not getting too many apples at the moment. I've got some parsnips and I've got two packs of chanterey carrots. One's for dinner today and one will be for going into a stew. I've got some easy peelers and there's the cucumber I mentioned earlier. And then over here I've got some diluting squash, which is summer fruits, and I've bought Eddie some more beer. So that is everything off this table on this section, and I'll go to the next bit. Starting over here, I've got the bakery stuff. I've got four panini rolls. I figure that that's quite a quick snack or dinner if um, if I'm not if I'm really busy and um, Eddie and the kids need to prepare something, they can do themselves a panini and some chips or something. I've got two packs of sandwich things. Ewan decided he wants to take those to school for a sandwich at school. I've got some Malta Bloom bread, which I've said before is our favourite. I've got these, which are these oat topped deli rolls. Now they're scanning in the app as a healthy extra B. I will double check just to make sure because they're not quite big rolls actually for a healthy extra B. But I'm sure it came up as a healthy extra B when I was in the shop. So I will double check that and put it on screen and let you know for definite. But that's for my burger if I have one this week. <laughs> I've got some normal white soft rolls for everybody else to have for their burgers. And that's it for the sort of bakery section. I've got two packs of paracetamol just because we always need those in. I've got two lots of shower gel because we seem to be getting through that at the rate of knots at the moment. I've got some body spray for you in. Some shaving gel for Eddie. Um, actual antiperspirant for you in and some for Eddie and i've got some mouthwash so that's all of that sort of section on to frozen i've got a toffee pavlova for pudding um that'll be for everybody else not for me i think i might make some rice pudding for myself today i've got six of the frozen um curries that are the cheap ones we seem to get through these i bought four last week and they'd gone i think by tuesday so i've bought six this time while tom's still living at home um it's just a quick thing for him to have in between lectures same for Chloe. I've got um, some southern fried fish burgers, I've not bought these for a few weeks and just fancied them again. And I've got some normal battered fish for everybody else. I've got some bags of, I've got a bag of frozen sweet corn. Now this, this seems like the bags are getting smaller, it might, it might just be me, but it seems like quite a small bag. I really need to go to Iceland or the food warehouse to stop my food that I've got, but for the time being I've got that. I couldn't get any green beans, which I was cross about because I really like green beans. Um, I did get a bag of butternut squash chunks just for speed if I want to do a quick risotto during the week. I've got some sliced mixed peppers just because I didn't see any fresh peppers today and I've run out. I've got some frozen roast potatoes. They won't be for me necessarily. I don't know what the sins are. I've not even checked. I mean, it is orange and green. They're not red, but um, I'll just probably have that to fry or mashed today. I won't be having any of those. They do look nice though, has to be said. And I've bought some fish fingers. I've saw, I think it was on Gemma's channel, she had a fish finger sandwich. And I've been fancying one since then, so I bought some just to have in, just so I could have one. Last section, this is snacks and store cupboard treats. So I've bought Tom a honeycomb toffee apple, and Ewan has got a toffee apple. Um, you, don't, you only see them in the shops at this time of year, so I thought I'd buy them both one. 
I've got some safari snacks because I like to keep this and the, the ice rings in because they're good for me. So a quick grab and go um, sweet picks. So I've put these on before so I won't bother telling you the sins again but that's good. I've got the pigs in blanket crisps. I've got some Max Double Crunch crisps and a big bag of Thinny Rings. They were really popular last week. Apparently they're really, really nice. So I've bought some more of those. I've got a trick and treat lolly mix. That isn't for trick and treaters. I'm not doing trick or treaters this year. I'm certainly not encouraging it. Um, but I like drumstick lollies and things like that. And they're not too bad sim wise, I don't think. So I'm just going to put those into a container and have those to nibble on. Mini chocolate chip cookies, again, like the safari snacks and the ice rings, the hand tap in for quick grab and go snack. And then I've got these legends, which are the treat bags, which I like, the mini um, Milky Ways and things, but they're just the Aldi versions. I've not checked the sins yet, I'll put them on screen once I've checked them. And these are for Christmas, so I've got a Belgian salted caramel chocolate stirrer, I've got Belgian milk chocolate stirrers, and I've got some white chocolate ones. In the Christmas Eve box, I always have, as well as the Cadbury sort of little gift bag I buy from the Cadbury outlet, I always put them some pyjamas and a chocolate hot chocolate stirrer in there. So they're to be put away for Christmas. And lastly, the last thing I bought was I bought some fabric. Now, I've got no idea how much this cost, actually. It had no price, but I decided it was really cute. And I thought it might be quite nice to make some face masks out of. This is the Disney Animals one, so it's got all laid in the tramp sort of little figures and things like that on so it's quite cute um there was a few different ones actually um there was a um so they had marvel heroes they had wonder woman and they had another one as well which, which just i can't remember what it was but i thought they were quite nice and if you had to make sort of a mask for a child to wear something like the marvel one might encourage them to wear them so um so yeah so i've got that that's my intention whether i get time to do it or not is another matter because obviously life is crazy at the moment but um but yeah, I think they'd be quite cute, this little face mask. Um, very sweet. The other thing that I wanted to report on is, I, managed, I saw this, this leaflet. I didn't even realise that, well, I think it must be a new thing, but they're doing click and collect, which is brilliant, because um, obviously Aldi, you can't normally shop online, really. So click and collect for me would be fantastic, because sometimes when I go on my own, if I have to spend £130, it's actually really hard work. It's hard work getting it all onto the conveyor belt, particularly because you can't, they can't start until the conveyor belt's full because obviously you've got to bring your trolley around to refill it. Um, and then obviously you, you're sort of piling it all back in at the other end and then you've got to repack it. So when you're doing that with £130 worth of shopping, it's actually like a full-on workout. So click and collect might just be um, the answer that I've been looking for. I mean, it'll stop me buying these little extras because you won't necessarily see those, those little things that you spot that you wouldn't see online. But from a budget point of view, it might be really good. So I'm going to explore that for next week, I think, because I'm quite excited about that. Um, what else is there to report? So I've, I've not done a meal plan yet. I'm probably going to do that as a separate video that will probably go up tomorrow just because I haven't sat down and worked out exactly what we're having. Um, I've got some ideas, like obviously the stew I had last week, but I might do a variation of that. Um, obviously it's burgers for one of the days. So I might sit and try and plan that out. Don't hold me to that just in case I run out of time. Um, but yeah, so this is this week's shopping. I think it's quite good value for money. I seem to have got quite a lot of fruit and veg and meat and stuff for my money. Um, hopefully there'll be enough left over to, to run into next week. But obviously we are five again at the moment. Um, Tom's housemate did um, come out positive for coronavirus. So obviously he's got another housemate living there that was isolating. So I think she'd finish isolating next Sunday. So Tom will definitely be with us again for this week um, and then look to move into his house the following week. Unless, of course, he gets it, which is a bit scary. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my shopping haul. Um, obviously, make any comments you like down below. Hopefully, I wasn't too rustly with the packaging and you could hear me okay. Um, it is a struggle sometimes to know when you're doing this because, obviously, I want to be able to pick things up to show you, but it does obviously have the same volume as my voice. So I try and not touch too much, but it's, it is tricky when, you try and, when you've got stuff piled up like this. So... Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll be back next week with another one. Take care. Bye.